we got the call. The sheep are on their way here. Guess who's back? The sheep. Uh, so yeah, they've made a um, semi-surprise return last night. Um, and, sorry, there's a goat stuck in a Christmas tree. Um, and they are here to lamb. Um, we will be um, sending some off to the abattoir uh, as well. Uh, so we have a bit of a problem. Um, the our friend who has had the sheep for the last few months um, says that the two tups or rams um, that were with them were really violent and really hard on the ewes. Um, what we have, the problem is, is that they were given to us by um, a friend of Kevin's and kind of with the understanding that they would not go to harvest. Um, which is always a really tricky thing. It's not something I personally would have agreed to because we're not a, an animal sanctuary, we're a farm. Um, however, um, you know, that was that was the agreement, so we need to find another solution. Um, also need to check them for lambing and um, their feet. And yeah, here comes Kevin. Um, how do you feel about my sheep being back? Um. I have mixed feelings. Um, can we get more goats, please? I mean... I prefer goats. Um, I find sheep incredibly annoying because all they want to do is escape and die. And just Basically. Just... That is their, their raison d'etre in life. They don't know what they're escaping from, they don't know where they're going to, but they just need out of whatever they're in. So... Um, I mean, they tell the story... Stop. <laughs> so, the, the debate we always have is... Do we get another breed of sheep? Soways are the UK's most primitive breed of sheep. Um, in fact, one of the world's most primitive breed of sheep. They've never been improved for meat or fleece or anything. They're really slow growing. They're really small. Um, as one of the smallness was one of the things that I really liked about them because it means that because I'm here alone, um, a lot of the time I can handle them on my own. I've been, I've dragged. Remember when I had to carry Thistle, one of our yeah. older sheeps, like, you know, firemen's carry, firewomen's carry, like, across the field. Like, I can do that by myself. They, they also birth Whereas really I, easily. They birth easy. Um, they don't have problems, usually with their feet. Um, occasionally, we'll get, like, a small problem, but it lasts for, like, They're a day. They're pretty healthy. They're really healthy, but they are so skittish. They don't herd like normal sheep, so you can't use a dog with them. Not that our dogs are. They're like deer. They're basically. like, yeah, they're basically like, little like deer. sheep deer. But the meat is incredible. Is. Uh, this is not just like a sale, you know, because we do sell meat boxes. I don't like commercial lamb. No, we don't eat commercial and lamb at all. I really like, um, it's, it's like... Do you, you remember that time? Oh, I don't know. Catherine, Kevin's sister, do you watch the, the blog? I don't know if you do, but do you remember when we were in South Africa visiting Catherine? Yes. And she asked me, his sister asked me if I like lamb because I wasn't, I don't eat a lot of fish and I was like no I think it tastes like dog food <laughs> and she served me lamb she's like oh that's what I made for dinner tonight it was Which, really good lamb it was good lamb it was really good lamb so lamb is not my favorite but soe is incredible it's much more gamey it's a lot less mm -hmm. like that sort of dog food like flavor of lamb it doesn't have that that really distinctive um smell and and taste no, no, it's that you get different. with new lamb um, commercial lamp. That sheep is trying to escape again. So the debate is, do we get another breed of sheep? So I really like Gotlands, um, but they're not native and they don't browse. So the other good thing about sheep Could you use them for wool? I could use Gotlands for wool and I could probably get it spun. But they're also because very we have, bedraggled. Um, so we, we, the other problem we have with Zoe's is that if you know anything about wool, um, you're looking at the sort of microns, which is how fine it is, and the staple length, which is how long the wool is. And should always have a very short staple length. Now that means that we don't have to shear them because you can rue them so the wool just comes off. Um, so that's really good, but because of the short staple length of the soe sheep wool, 
it means that not every mill can deal with our wool. So we send our wool very happily to Uist. Um, I think that's a story in itself. That's what's quite nice about yeah, it. So the, the, I suppose the thing about our sheep being different, taking a lot, two years to season, having to take the wool, uh, pull it out by hand, take it, send it to Uist, having the, the, the wool go missing for six months on the island of Skye. Yeah, well, this is a story when the wool comes back, which is coming back in a couple of yeah, weeks. Yeah, there's we'll a lot of great story. stories. But, um, you, know, you know, there's a real story to it. And I think it would be a shame to just kind of go for the easiest option. But our neighbors hate us. And I love my Soe rams, particularly one of them. He's so, he's so nice. Except he's brutal to the use. No, the other one is. Okay. So anyway. This is, this is what we're disagreeing this, on. This is the debate we have all the time. We will keep the breeding yows, breeding ewes here um, after you know, we've sorted them, then some of them are gonna probably go back to better grass than we have here. But today we need to move them because there is a storm a coming. Another. Storm Dennis. Yes. And uh, so I have set up a corral that is gonna run from the pen that they're in to the new grazing. Um, and I've got the electric fence up. So all we really need to do is move them. Shall we do it? Let's do it! What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this gate here, and then they're gonna run in between this dry stone wall and the new field, or the new fenced in bit down here. I have got electric fencing set up. This is a mains powered one because uh, yeah, the batteries don't work. Oh, where, where, where are they getting in? They're gonna, we're gonna lift. Chuck them over. Oh, and over the fence. No, you've gotta stand there! You've gotta, oh, Kevin! I didn't know. Kevin! Wait, I can't get round now. <laughs> And they're in. So it's about an hour later. Yeah. Uh, so it's about an hour later. So Kevin, to answer the question again, should we keep Zoe sheep? No. No. <laughs> A disaster. Get rid of them. Oh God. No. Let's go. They're cute though. <laughs>